Odd Pod Podcast. Odd Pod Podcast. Jacob. Nacho. Andy. And Gordon. And we need to get him out of here, actually. Yes, he needs to go. Gordon, come on. Hey. Odd Pod Podcast. Thank you for the subscribing to the number one podcast in the world. Fuck Impulsive. Fuck the Nelf Boys. Um, you guys are looking at us. Seven subscribers. That's G shit. Andrew Tate shit. You guys already know. So thank you for watching, all seven of you. And, um... How's yeah, it? how's everyone doing today? Good, I am doing good. Um, can't How are complain. You? I had a f- couple days off last week. What'd you do? What did I do? I actually, I still worked in the morning, so I can't say I had it off. But I got the rest of the half of the days off, and then I just chilled and played video games. Was your birthday last week? <sighs> no. Okay. It's not. He's... Not sure knows when my birthday is. Uh, you can ask him. Yeah. Is it like, exactly. Uh, it's what like, video it's... game were you playing? Prince of Persia, the new one. There's a new Prince of Persia game? Yep, on the Switch. I haven't played it. What? Well, it just came out. You're a big Switch guy. I've I love yeah, Big I Nintendo love guy yeah. over here. Yeah, fact. Speaking of Nintendo. I know what you're about to say. Power say. World. Power World just oh, came out. And it's the I number one say. game in the world right now. Dude, I want to play that game now. I was watching, we were watching um, a friend over there play it. We really want to play it. Have you played it yet? I have. Your setup? I have played it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Better than Pokemon? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Really? I'd say it's much better than Did Pokemon. Did you play Arceus? I did. Do you I like did. it more? It's kind of like Arceus, but... Arceus. Yeah, did you notice that? Know. Did you notice that? Okay, I don't know. Thank you. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's, it could be both, right? Because... No. Oh, oh, the actual, the pronunciation, yeah. No, it's Arceus. How do they say it uh, in Pokemon? Arceus. Nacho, you gotta See, get on I told that. you. you I told you. I told you it was Arceus. What the fuck are you doing? We don't even know. Because I didn't put it up there. Yeah, because he never does. You're going <laughs> to. <laughs> Anything make a note. Pop, but yeah. Make a note. I'm going to, and I'm going to send you everything. <laughs> Okay, cool. Would you, would you say it's better or the same as ours? I'd say it's much better because you can't put Pokemon in internment in camps and force them to work. <laughs> Wait, you do that? Yeah, you put them. What you, is you, this game? You put pals in camps and they work for you. And if you work them Arceus. without feeding them any good food, they get depressed. Arceus. Hey, you had a. You're right, Arceus. Google know. doesn't know shit. But, but oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's right. Yeah. We heard that already, though. Um, Does. Arceus in English and Arceus in Japanese. Arceus. Arceus. That was kind of. You also say you, you also say Luffy Luffy, which bothers me. Who's that? Like, Fuck you. <laughs> oh. Kaizo Koni. Oh my King god. King of the Pirates, dude. dude. Kaizo so Koni Nandara. Huh? That had to have clipped. I'm getting. You're making me so dry. Um, first episode on Spotify, possibly. When was this? You thing? do not read the things I send this, out. That was that's Must happening be. right now. Someone Stand is it. someone is listening to this on Spotify. That's true. It's probably and if me. you're out there, <laughs> that's a fucking lie. And well, it's not Andy definitely listening on Spotify or at all. Uh, what are you trying to say? <laughs> you don't listen to shit. Anyways, what did you guys do on the snow days? I stayed I, home. I went mountain biking in the snow. That was a lot of fun, actually. What? Yeah. That's awesome. How? You don't live in the mountains. Well, there's it's Virginia. There's like features all over the place. Yeah, there's like mountain biking. biking places. Yeah. How was it? It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, I have a video. <laughs> yeah, get put his ass to work. Yeah. Make him pop up everything. <laughs> um, that's cool. I saw your bike, dude. That looks like it can go through some snow dude, and got, mud. I've got bikes. If you guys want, if we if you want an episode where we where we <laughs> ride out to the middle of the mountains. <laughs> I I'd try to survive well, I'm, for a day. I'm, I'm a fucking heart attack. I vape, bro. I, mean, I can't do that. Uh, but you're quitting, though, right? Um, As what? part of your my last resolution. Pod. Oh, okay. Thank God. We can bring up resolutions and how they're going right now, or we can skip that. Oh, go. bring perfect. up resolutions. Oh, <laughs> my God. That sounds perfect. Nacho, how's your going? It's going actually very well. All right, let's see. Thank you for asking. Let's see how well it's going, huh? Yeah. I've been talking to my... It's because now that I'm working at... um. A place where all the people there speak Spanish. Always speaking Spanish all the time now. So I'm learning it more. Using Google Translate less. I'm conscious of the blank, confused face now. So uh-huh. I just try to smile like this. Yeah. Makes me a little uncomfortable. And sometimes it makes them uncomfortable. But, todo bien. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah, I think I'm sure where the, the library is and I'll fuck your shit up. So we wanted to do... Uh, I was ready to. Uh, I wanted to... Did you look it up? What? Okay, cool. No, I can't uh, see. So, since annoying. we're not writing it down, I was going to ask you some Spanish words and you tell me it in English, or I was going to ask you some English words or phrases you tell me in Spanish. Which would you rather do? So, either Spanish or vice versa. Uh, let's do 
or back and forth. Let's do English to Spanish. Because I speak English better, and there's a lot of times where I'm trying to put English words to Spanish to communicate with people. Okay. And this is a learning thing, too. Yeah. So you're, you're going to learn from this. All right. Uh, we'll start with the one I asked you, I think it was last episode, elevator. Wow. By the way, Megan knew this. <laughs> like a escalera? No, it's escalator. Oh, that's cool though. I didn't know that. I do escalator because I never ask with elevators. I take the stairs. Next question. God. Ascensor. That's an elevator. Ascensor. Okay. Okay. Well, just so Ascensora? you know. Ascensor. Ascensor. Okay. Cool. If you're yeah. Fucking Mexican. Ascensor. Okay. Okay. Wow. Ascensor. Uh, did you want to do one? Oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll switch it off. You both have one each. Okay. That's so funny. You really don't. I, I put together this. I podcast. skimmed it. He's a speed reader, so he doesn't catch up. Every, he doesn't catch I up. I got word. busy at the, the at, uh, yeah. I got busy. I called. Got called into work. Needed to cash in some brownie points, so I went. Okay. Well, that's why you guys were texting me, and then I didn't get off until twelve a.m. that night. Drove home, knowing I had to be up at eight. Be back at work at nine. So I just KO'd. Woke up. Got busy, and then came back. And then I had those two hours, and I kind of was Valid. like, "Fuck! I should have done it." But I'm I just. So, I'm sorry. Busy. I had to go through that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm busy. I wouldn't do it for no reason. Anyways, anyways continue. Anyways, anyways. Next question. Your word is Jewish. Um, oh my god, I know this one. Uh, wait, you're saying the word you're about to tell me is Jewish, or that's the word? You're that's asking? the word. The word is Jewish. Uh, fuck. You didn't? No, that's Jew. That's German. Um, that's still impressive to me. It is. I don't know. Rata? No, I'm just joking. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a Pokemon, I think. <laughs> that would be rat in Spanish. Uh, okay, that's fine. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, you guys are asking me words that I will never... I came here when I was... Well, Elevator came... you could use in a sentence. I take the stairs. I told you. Oh, my God. It's such a cap. It's such a cap. Okay, Next question. Right. Judio. Judio. Yeah, I was like... Oh, let's almost say... I was like, ah. Anyways. All right. I'm going that's... to give you one that you uh, should probably know because Andy got it right when I asked him earlier. It's a phrase. I'm going to say it in... Do you want to do you want to do you want me to say it in English and you give it to me in Spanish? Or do you want me to say it in Spanish? And you tell me what it is in English. Let's say that you just got kidnapped by the cartel, and I don't know what I'm going with the metaphor. You pick. You pick this time. Well, if you were the cartel. Yeah. Ah! Uh, quiero ir rápido con Ricky Bobby. I want to go fast like Ricky Bobby. It's good enough, yeah, with Ricky Bobby. Quiero ir rápido. And that might help me against the cartel someday, so I should remember that. Well, the cartel would find out, oh, no one's trying to rescue him. <laughs> Slice your head Don't off. Don't put that one Yeah. <laughs> they hold you for ransom. If you're not worth much, they're going to be like, all right, at this point, he's like, we're losing money holding him. So that <laughs> is, and that's fucked up. I'm too handsome for be that. Be better. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you are two, or one for three. One for three. We're going to do one more Damn. each. Or actually, I think, I think this is this is good. Right, this, is right, bad check this is the last one, okay? Right, I finished that. Right, I'm gonna give you a word in English or a sentence in English, and then you'll have to give it back to me in Spanish. Okay. You're actually five foot nine. Mm. A verdad, vos sos cinco por nueve. See, that's not what Google Translate says. So I'm gonna have to have you repeat that <laughs> in the Google Translate. It sounded believable. He said it fluently. He didn't stutter. We didn't see his eyes though. It's hard to tell. Well, the thing is though, Google tells you very much like the weird ways of saying it that would be too formal. Un tiempo más. Put up some light. A verdad, vos sos cinco por nueve. It's true. You're five times nine. That fucked it up, but yeah. Alright, that's, that's fine. Alright. It's true. You're five times nine. Yeah. Yep. I'm... What's 45? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. I was going. I was going. I, was going, I, was going, I had it prepared in my head. I was, I was like, trying not that? to cut you off because it looked like this, that was gonna be big for you. That was a big moment for me. Yeah. And I said it. I wonder if it picked it up. <laughs> All right. We are going to segment. Well, wait. Well, how would you rate my New Year's resolution so far? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So here, I have a question real fast. Was your New Year's resolution to read it better or both? Yes. Okay, Spell cool. it. So I say for a 50 50 shot and being 50% Spanish, I would say the horrible. <laughs> that well, fucking sucks. <laughs> shit. I don't know what anyone would say. You fucking whitewashed fucking. But you say you've been practicing, so that's good. Yeah, okay, like cool. out there on the field. Nice, yeah. In the it's field. hard. <laughs> if you asked me like a bunch of like ingredients and shit, oh, 
Really? Last year, yeah. Okay. So okay. let's let's focus on that. Not things that I would never say. I, okay. Again, elevate. I think you'll say it. Okay. Noodles. Huh? Noodles. You never asked me that. Say it. Noodle though. <laughs> oh, for you your it. people or my people? Say it for Fiedos. Fiedos. Yeah. Okay. What about um my people? I don't know. Noodle? Pasta. Pasta. Pasta, yeah. Pasta. Yeah, Pasta. yeah there you go. That's, yeah, okay. Macaroni. So this past Friday. Oh, hold on, hold on, let's check on Andy's. Get a scale. Get a scale. That's no. I'm just fucking with you. All right, next one. Topic of you, isn't it? Here, I have a question. Have you improved your yeah miles? Hey, you know, crazy enough, I have not gone running since I talked about it on the podcast. Well, we're asking more about like your your other stuff, but because well, your goal was I to lose weight. He asked. Oh, running. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because remember, sorry. he said he was doing ten minutes, then he dropped it down to nine minutes per mile. He said you said you get shit for that. Didn't make sense to me because at least you're running. Yeah. But now I want to give you shit because you didn't run. But I got my cardio in mountain biking. Mm, That's true. In yeah. the cold. But that wasn't your goal. Your goal was to lose weight by portion I'm, I'm control. Down, I'm down two pounds. So that's, that's good. I'll put it at. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Thank you. Eating out? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm eating out. There was a period where I hadn't eaten at home for like a week. Damn. Damn, that's expensive. This is just a lot of oh, calories. A little bit. I managed yeah. to lose two pounds though. I don't know. Portion do control, you know? You can eat out, you just don't eat all of it, you know? I would just feel sick. But I'm down to go to Big for Golgi tonight. Or uh, Golgi Friends tonight. If you want to go rock climbing later? Yeah. But it's, it's free actually. But what? anyways, Golgi we'll, Friends? We can go back to that later. I remember you talking about that. Yeah. All right, Um, right, I'm doing well as well. Thanks. What was how many hours of community service have you done? Oh, I haven't started that yet. For, so wait, how are you doing well? Because I had a whole laundry list. Yeah. Yeah, remember? but that was the most important one that you were proud of, and you also the most at comical me. at me. Yeah, because I knew it wasn't going to happen. Oh my God. Did you help an old lady cross the street? Did you do anything? I did something good today. What? Something what happened at some at my job, and I helped him through it. He called me. He's like, "Hey, can I vent to you?" He was an older guy, and I spoke to him for like half an hour. Do you want so to you air did out your his business? Job. No, I don't want to air out his oh, okay. business. It's actually kind of like, it's drama in my company right now. Oh, okay. But I was there for him. I told him I loved him. I didn't say that. All right, moving on. Segment two. Did you guys know this past Friday, January 19th, 2024, a small computer commuter airplane took off from the Dulles International Airport, and just as they reached the edge of the airport runway... About 900 feet in the air, they had to make an emergency mayday landing on the Loudoun County Parkway. Yeah, I, I heard that on the NPR the news thing live, and I was like, I never drove there though. I didn't see it. That would have been insane to see. It would have. Somebody said that they were, they were, yeah. <laughs> I actually have a flight simulator of exactly what happened and the person talking, and you're never going to believe who was flying the plane. Who? The toddler. It was the the toddler, toddler, yeah. There was four passengers... One was a 15-year-old boy, and the rest were adults. They don't; their gender doesn't matter. But they they had genders. Well, don't mean, worry about that. If they were to land on a highway, I feel like we could just. So yeah, they took off from the Dulles Airport, which is right there, and landed immediately at they got to the end of the airport. And here's the flight simulator. Let's see if we can. Three four zero and one zero. Fly runway heading. Runway three. Right now. So that's it taking off. Not just gonna have it up for you guys. You don't even have to worry about it. He's on that shit. It's and right as they get in. Wait, what? That was the pilot talking. Was that a kid? No. Even worse. Is it a... Heading tower shuttle 246 turn right, heading 340. So from there to there. 340. How did they not hit a single car? So they they hit the, uh, there's a picture, which Nacho will also pop up of them hitting the guardrail right here. There was a car behind them. I guess it must not have been busy. It was when the snow was happening on Friday. He did that in the snow too? Yeah. He was flying in the At snow? At 12.30 p.m. Now. Yeah, that's... He got money. That's in the middle of the day. It'll be pretty empty on the road by then. Now. That's... Imagine if it had been a bunch of cars. So that would have been ca catastrophic. So, yeah, yeah. That would have been catastrophic for sure. Um, they also aren't telling us what went wrong. 
there's obviously a lot of news around this and nobody knows what went wrong, at least from everything I've Googled. So let's make something up. I need to hear that. What was the significance of the pilot? You were like highlighting that, but what was the point of highlighting that? Oh, I think it was a woman. I would trust oh, that's, a woman. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. Trust her. She landed it perfectly fine. That's insane. Granted, not where she was supposed to. <laughs> not I think, close, I think dude. airplanes were supposed to land on the airfields. I think they were going to Pennsylvania. Um, so she this... was. She got pretty close. But what's funny is that I heard that once on my. So like NPR has this. NPR has this thing that has um like news that you get every hour, so you can like listen. It's four minutes. You watch it. Mm. I heard it once at one hour, and then after that, never heard it again. Mm. Never saw an article. Never saw anything. And then normally they repeat stories because they run out of things to say because every hour they update it. Yeah. Didn't hear it anymore after that. And I was like, wait, what about a plane? But I was driving, so I just didn't see. Apparently, no, because Power World dropped. No one. No one cared about the plane. That and the Epstein list. Pal World is actually to distract us from the plane that had the Epstein list. And they were taking the list to Iowa because that's where Trump was when it was snowing. And Epstein and Trump are friends. So Trump needed to get the list before the FBI got it. And they landed in Loudoun County Parkway because mm. that's where all the pedophiles are. That's where they drive at 1230 in the snow. That's mm-hmm. if y'all I do research on it. I've been there at 1230. But not in the snow. Oh, that's such a good point. Exactly. Thank you. That's Racists good. do 1230 on that. And so they had to land, and it was a woman because she was it one of It sounded like a woman to me. I didn't, I didn't look up if it was it was a woman or not. Do you think it was a woman? Definitely. It sounded like a woman to me. It did. Or the 14, 15-year-old boy. I heard an old southern yeah. man. Talk that was mayday, the mayday, that mayday. was the tower. Oh, oh, the person saying "Mayday." That doesn't sound like a woman to you. It sounded like an old bill- hillbilly with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, well, my night, my you so be going up. down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Anything else on that? Did we want to make up why the plane was going down? Like I just didn't. Oh, Pow World came out. I gotta hurry up and land and download it. That's definitely what happened. Or they sucked up a a, a flock of migrating geese. Mm. That might be it. Or the superhero cape from Incredibles. That could be it, too. I mean, I if we're being, what that guy's name was. If we're being fully realistic here. Okay, go ahead. I think it was just because... Did you realize how crazy the wind was during the snowstorm? Because it always wind. Because that's how... Like, when the snowstorm catches up, it's going to always wind. Keep a note of that next time there's a snowstorm. Anyways, I think they were just taking off. And it was way too windy right off the bat for a small plane like that. So it was like... Easily, they were like, no, this is a bad idea. So they landed. And I'm sure that Dulles... Once already got in trouble for 9-11, that someone was able to take off from 9-11 from there. And, like, now that this new regulations, like, someone was com- incomplacent. On top of that, they just got a bunch of money to renovate uh, Dulles. Really? So if something like that happens, donors and people that are putting money see, like, what the fuck, you're going to just let something like this happen in snow, like, with Boeing and everything else that's happening. So they just want to keep this covered. Hmm. I think that's realistically what it is. Could be. A lot of speculation, but could be. So yeah. Epstein... Or just incompetence. I think those are just vi- valuable. Va- valuable? One more time. We'll valuable? No, we don't have to cut it. I'll get there. I'll get there. Just, you know, just put the right word right here. And put the definition. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Um, go ahead. Uh, speaking of speculation, uh, Jewish people are they're building tunnels in New York <laughs> City, in Brooklyn. Yes. Yeah. The story's hilarious. Finally. Should I go? Do you, you guys want to hear about this? You guys hear? Do you guys know anything about this? Yeah, yeah. I looked it all up. I also did my research. Yes. Did you see the tweet? I did see the tweet. What? So this is the best part. I gotta pop it up right there. Yeah, right here. So in December of la of like twenty three, I think I forget when the tweet was, but it was like a few months ago or something. There's a guy that's living in New York at the bottom, and he sends a tweet and saying, "I hear Jews. I'm I'm on the first floor of my apartment, and I hear Jews below, like Jews below me, or something of that context." And then he goes, I'm not crazy. When the story came out that there were people literally tunneling underneath, he retweeted this thing and it went super viral that, of that tweet of wow. him being like, I'm not crazy. Can you imagine you're paying fucking like $2,500 a month for a single little shitty apartment and you hear some asshole just underneath digging and you hear Yiddish? So you're sitting there and he goes, there's Jews in my basement. Yiddish? Is that what they say? I spoke uh, Hebrew. Hebrew. Is Yiddish another, where did it say Hebrew? 
I don't know. Why are you guys looking at me? Whoa, Yiddish whoa. Just, <laughs> or is Yiddish just jabber? With the nose. Yeah. yeah it's, it's confusing. Dude, that's just... Oh. It, uh, there was also, back in 2020, um, a construction team, I think, heard them down there, and then they sent out either police or the fire department or something, and, but they couldn't find anything. There's been a few reports. Yeah, and That's the funniest, though, for sure, that I've heard. The reports, the tweet, and the video of the guy coming out the manhole. Did you see that? Mm-mm. Yeah, you missed the best part. There's literally the one that filmed some Jewish guy. Like, you know, the, the traditional, literally coming out oh, of a yeah. manhole cover. Like a manhole That's sword. so funny. And they're like, what the fuck is that? So you have all these signs. And also, like, it wasn't some small tunnel. Like, you were able to fit fully. Like, they were complex big tunnels. This must have taken years. Eight feet wide. Or no, 80 feet long. Something like that. And then six feet wide. Yeah. So, well, how, so do, what, how do they move Can't control crime. Dirt? Can't control the homelessness. Can't control the Jews. Get it together, New York City. Well, here's the best part, though. The lawyers that are d- defending the Jewish people who got arrested, because there's 10 of them. Nine. He said, nine. Okay. I gotta Sorry. Read that. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I didn't read it. Just like Nacho. <laughs> yeah. um, the, Jew- the, the lawyer said that they had no idea that it was illegal to build that tunnel. They were talking about it for some renovation that the, their old, re- however it works, old wanted rabbi. to do. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, the originally somebody came out there to fill in the hole in the building. I forget what the name of the building is. Um, and then they started causing a riot. And then that's how the nine people got arrested. Yeah, because they refused to leave. The cops didn't like, go in there. Yeah, because they were talking about it for like, it was our, his dream or something to have this extra built on. We, and they said they didn't know it was illegal and stuff. And it's like, geez, dude. So, yeah. So fucking funny. That just, is funny. Or that's wild, dude. That's wild. Just all the signs of That's what's funny. Yeah. The people coming out of the sewer. The people complaining that there's someone underground. Like, just, like, uh, people just coming out and, uh, like, they would hear voices. Funny stuff. Get it together in New York City. When I first saw the article on it, before I did any research, I thought it was somehow connected to that video that Casey Neistat posted of him in New York when he accidentally stepped into the hole and it broke open and it was like a giant mm. opening. I was like, did he find that already? And that's how we're seeing this? But now it has nothing to do with each other. I found out about it from the memes before anything else. Yeah. I oh, saw the memes. I was like, what the fuck are all these Jewish memes? <laughs> <laughs> that's usually how but it goes. What a bad time to have a story like that pop up to. Really bad time. Yeah. I agree. Can be worse. This is not, and this is on the uh, script. We're going a little off script here. Okay. Did y'all see the new the John the Mayor Adams video for New York City? The what? Was he like doing like judo or something? No, let me show oh, you. Okay. Can I? Do you have a YouTube or something I can pull up? Yeah. He didn't want to text me this so I could add it or anything. I was struggling at this week's content. I wasn't really struggling. Mayor Adams. Yeah. No, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna show you Mayor Adams. This so. Mayor Adams. So Mayor Adams, for those that you don't know, is the mayor of New York City. I didn't know that. Um, This came out a long time ago while he was part of the state senate. And it only recently got viral because he's getting a lot of heat now because of everything that's going on in New York City, like we just explained. So because of that, people will dig shit up on you. And so this video is about how to... Look, I don't even have to... I probably don't even have to, like, just, I just been Mayor Adams and, no, they're hiding it. Um, Mayor Adams kid video. And it's, no, it's not something I put up out. So basically he, um, Case is trying excited. to show how yeah. to combat. <laughs> so look, this is an official video 12 years ago from the New York Daily News. Um, combating. was shot, doors from my gun house. Violence. I realize how important my crusade is of removing illegal handguns off the streets of New York. Hi, I've I'm New York this. State Senator That's Eric Adams. For 22 years, I wore yeah, a bulletproof okay. vest and stood on the street corner. This is not important. Yeah, no, yeah, I thing. love this, dude. I thought it was a joke. And then no. he, like, and he, like, he shot his wife or something, right? Room. No, I don't see what it would be You don't know what your child may be hiding. Oh, he's, he's, he's picking up this ring. Look at the very I mean, you always keep them there. And photos and pictures, pictures. The music is what I love. You should always, when your child brings in his popular knapsack with many different locations, look through it to see what exactly is your child carrying in addition to a book. Something simple as a crack pipe. Something <laughs> that simple. <laughs> I love that. I yeah. love that video. I, I forget where I saw that. It might have been a podcast. It might have been Theo's podcast. That's re- Yeah, because then he was saying the jokes like... um. 
crap. So he was hilarious. like, think that's your kid's uh, teddy bear? Check inside. There's bullets and some nicotine pouches. <laughs> <laughs> think that's his backpack? Look inside. There's menthol. Uh, anyways, yeah. Funny story. I'll Next segment. It. Well, that, that was pretty much it. One last question that we did not bring up. Super Bowl. Because we'll probably be talking about that sooner or later. Four teams left in it. Chiefs versus Ravens coming up. Lions Oof. versus 49ers coming up. I know who I want in the Super Bowl. But who do you guys want? I want on uh, Lions Baltimore. That's exactly who I want. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Yeah. That's same, what I want. Same, same, same. Oh, same. dude, that's good. You know, you know, you know. Yeah. 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 I like Dart Dap. But who do you want to win it? Uh, I want Baltimore to win it. Yeah, me too, dog. No. Nah, bro, Detroit. What's wrong with you, Cub? Think about it like this, though. If Baltimore wins, Detroit. they riot. That's what they I'm will riot. We go riot. I'm down. For a podcast. I'm down. Loot. If, if Baltimore For wins, we will be in Baltimore. Next episode, we'll be in Baltimore. What's up, guys? The Odd Pod Boys. We're about to raid this Best Buy. I will, <laughs> we will not be doing that. No mind. For legal purposes. No mind. <laughs> we need gear. We need gear. <laughs> A table. We need a table. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. We gotta go somewhere. Oh Ikea God. or some shit. Or a fucking tripod. Great too. Baltimore Ikea. Oh. We get lost up in there. It's not a quick enough exit route. Uh, gotta plan that. Table no, Andy, you bring the Baltimore Aquarium. He <laughs> starts stealing the fish. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, with that. With a shark. <laughs> or stonefish. Everything aquatic. Oh, man. Oh, just to eat it. That's what you do it for. That's so funny. Yeah, thank you. Uh-huh. I like this video if you laughed at that. Yeah, how can we... Oh, yeah, yeah. Comment below. That would viral. Even though by the time you see this, it'll pro- we'll probably already know. But comment below who won the Super Bowl if you see this after the Super Bowl. Comment and also abuse that notification bell. Smash yes. that like and subscribe abuse button. It. We didn't say that. that this time we are now, and it cut off. Perfect timing. I put myself. No one would know. None okay, of you guys would know. we're going to figure out the whole camera cut off thing. But we're back. Thank you. That definitely blurred up the lens for sure. <laughs> so please, please abuse that notification bell. Like Nestle abuses water mm. from from uh, underrepresented people. Mmm. Spin. Make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe. <laughs> Once we hit fifty, that's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> Can't believe you're not trying. That's, that's on brand, though. That's that on is brand. On brand. That's sorry. We're gonna have to put really sleeping pills in your water next time, so you come tired every time. Sure. <laughs> okay. You want me to be upset? Do it. I'm upset. Sure, you just gotta take your nicotine. What? That's true. Yeah, Where? Where? No, 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 no. Get back. <laughs> Where's that? Um, thank you for listening. Once we hit 50 subscribers, five zero. I'll Venmo one random subscriber twenty dollars. I don't care about money. Screw it. Twenty dollars and fifty cents. It doesn't matter. Doesn't care. Give me twenty um, bucks to get a new table. We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out when we get there. Are you subscribe? You know that- I am. I am one of the subscribers. Okay, cool. Me too. So you guys could win. We should just. That would be. Can this, you imagine that? Huh? What if we just made accounts. <laughs> what if we just made accounts? To us? No, I, oh, that would have been a great price. I, I sent you guys on Instagram. Someone messaged. Someone DM'd me on Instagram. Yeah, like Bar Deep or something. Say, do you yeah. want a million subscribers? Oh, uh, yeah. We didn't. We should have done that. No, you need numbers, clicks, interactions. That's the only way to do it. If not, you just look empty. Because then you look at a scam account. Because if someone sees it and they see the numbers visibly don't match, like 100,000 subs- uh, subscribers, 50 views, they're like, oh, this is a scam that's account. Stein's I'm not going to look account. at this. Huh? Maybe, maybe that's that, like Stein's account. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe that's yeah. where the money comes from, right? Like just selling uh, follows and subscribers. And then you're like outsourcing you these subscribers to like foreign countries. Yes. Like, like imagine a sweatshop full of a bunch of little kids watching videos. Where is this going? Or there's people in New York who are <laughs> all playing Pokemon Go on their phones. There's like a million of them, and you just outsource there's, the job. There's this one lady. So last segment, that was gonna be it, right? I have one more thing to say about the outro. So go ahead. Do oh, thing. So the, the YouTube thing. Um, the the there's this part. The lady, I forgot what it was. I was looking it up, but. I was looking up NBA highlights and I looked at the comments and it was like, I'm here for the Asian lady. I want to see the Asian lady. I want to be here for the Asian lady. Anybody what? else want to the Asian ladies there? And I'm like, I'm watching LeBron highlights. Like, what the fuck? And then it just cuts off. <laughs> like 40, like a minute, like five, like two, one or two minutes in. And it's an old Vietnamese lady speaking another language doing arts and crafts. All her videos, hundreds of thousands of views. Because she has the NBA thing. People watch the NBA highlights uh... and then it just cuts to them. And it turned into a total meme. If you ever run into NBA highlights and you see people turn around to that Asian lady, just wait. 
she'll appear. It's internet lore. It's told that one every now and then when you're watching LeBron James flop, I didn't she'll appear to show you how to make a croquet basket. Okay, well that could come in hand, don't you? Yeah. handy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Shout out to Mingju. Mingju. Oh, Ju. That's kind of racist. Huh? Is her name Mingju? Yes. I can actually pull it up. We salute it. Okay, no, I believe <laughs> Mingju. <laughs> Alright. Um, also, the last thing, Instagram and Spotify, because we're going to attempt to put this on Spotify, will be in the description below. That's on Nacho. Yes, sir. So, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning and in. I'm going to do the sign out whenever he's ready.